everybody, Lefty here. I'm coming back at you with Hellblade Sinua's Sacrifice. We're going to be continuing by crossing this bridge that we left off on. So, yeah, we're going to see what happens next and who else we got to go fight. And, oh, yeah, that's a nice, lovely what you've done with the place. The decorations of human bodies on pikes. That's lovely. Love that. The gate. So the source of the darkness. The gate is it's open. Well, because I want it to. It's coming. That song again. Is it? Is it? Is it? Tell her. Yes. The source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. Oh, what is that? I'm sorry. I can't watch this. Is that a giant head? What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight I'd rather not. It's a giant head. Giant Get man, up. technically. Get up. Get up and fight! Yeah, I was like, how do I fight that giant thing? Stormy seas and lost soul. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Come on. There. Ow. Well, at least it wasn't what I thought they were telling her to do. But okay. Oh, go on. When you give everything in the face of that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. Feeling. A song.
I've been told on several occasions not to go towards the light, and in this occasion they're like, no, totally do that. That's a good idea. Okay, so my sword is shattered. I've been beaten up pretty badly. Got all this black fungus on my arm, like I was sitting there doing some type of uh, anal inspection on an elephant. Now my dead lover's soul is back. It's dead. He's going you would go slow. How could you keep going? How could you keep going? Ignore the pain. I told you it was the trick you. I told you. Where are you going? I'm following him. her ribs are still working before she first met him she was not in a good place just a teenager but not like the others barely functioning she rarely left the house her father's in bell made sure of that only occasionally did she venture out on her own collecting firewood and herbs errands out in the Orkney plains was her world. I like this one. Oh, there he is. And lonely. All it took was a jog, and now I'm doing better. name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but his sword comes out with Sigmund's touch. His brother, King Sigmund, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to the feast. Well, I can still see the text from that last one. I guess I just jumped a little too fast for it. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. Oh, that's a lovely story. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Um... The wolf doesn't eat him? 
licks it off and becomes his friend. I'm not exactly sure why I came this way. What was the point of me coming up here? Oh, because I gotta go this way. Smart. This is pretty. Though it makes me question my sanity. What's your name? I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one? Well, I, I watched you, and... You learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trial. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Well, that was very interesting and intense. Can you see him? You want to believe it. It's, it's very sweet real. though. It makes a nice story. You're alone in these mountains. Is that clear? Nothing lives here. Oh, there's one. You won't survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign, the tree. What's he trying to tell you? As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, 
he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. Ah, so that's how he escapes. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. I think I'd be pretty ticked off if I was some guy's sister and then helped him escape and then sent him my own sons to help him out with his revenge only for my brother to murder my sons because they weren't strong enough. Be pretty freaking pissed off. I'd be like, why did I help you escape? What was the point of me doing that? Okay, I guess I had to go that way. I'm a genius. All right, be right back. I am not a smart man. I kind of wonder, though, with that story, if they're uh, trying to signify something I have to do later. Like, kind of put honey on my face and bite the tongue of a wolf. And somehow that'll help me. I'll survive. Oh, there's a sword in here. How do I take that? Oh, there we go. I started something. It's happening. Imagine a sword that can slay gods. <laughs> its name is Gramram. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need your sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said the great warrior can reforge grammar by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Okay, so in order to get the sword, I gotta face three trials and see if I survive. Wonderful. king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer but the angry dwarves cursed it it would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king let me tell you about the sword tearving Where are we now? Burial mound. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Okay, so... 
Yeah, take the torch, my gosh. I'm not gonna go wandering in there in the dark with nothing to light my way. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Who's there? Oh, don't like the idea of this. Someone's yelling that direction. Lillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? I'll find him. Oh, can I light this torch? Yes, I can. Can I light these? <gasps> No? Okay, guess not. Nope. Okay. Dillian's calling to you. Can you hear him? Where is he? He sounds like he's getting further away. Have you lost him? We're going the wrong way. Of course I'm going the wrong way. Where are you? Turn around. Ah, turn right. Over this way. What was that? This way. Follow this way. Nothing. Where are we? The voices are confusing me because one's telling me to go this way in my left ear and the other one's saying, no, this way in my right ear. And I'm like, I don't know which way to go. Ooh, that's very dark. Okay, I heard a yell from this direction, so I'll go this way. Oh, that doesn't look very nice. Let me just, there we go, off the thing before I light this, just in case that activates for some reason. I heard him that time. So I must be going the right way. Oh, there he is. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. Okay, so I can't get in that way. Standing on this doesn't activate anything, does it? No? Okay. That's blocked off, so I gotta go back the way I was coming. Got it. It wanted me to go this way, so I knew for sure. Oh, hey, he's over here. But now I gotta go back the way I was going originally. So I can find where I need to go. Well, maybe I go this way. Yeah, this is where I go. Because this is where I've been. I lit that up. Don't like that sound. Don't like that sound. Don't touch the walls. If you do, I will make my tear. Turn back. <sighs> she has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. I'm gonna it's touch no all the walls. It's too scary. This torch just suddenly lit after I touched that torch, so maybe I go this way. Wait a minute. Focus. Oh, it's a mirror. If I turned around... Yeah. No. I gotta go this way. I know. I got it. Chill. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herva, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. The sword called Tyrving. I do not like this one bit. Ooh, thank God. Sunlight. Careful, this doesn't sound like Dillian. What's happening? Quiet. He wants me to find him. I'm lost without him. It doesn't sound like him. What's in there? What is it? Is it a slick of food? It's 
not Dillian. Nope, doesn't sound like Dillian. Rather not know what that is. Not enjoying this at all. I didn't know there'd be creepy dungeons in this game. Oh, a giant red room of fire. Okay, yeah, no, that's nice. Dillian wants me to face my fears. Oh, achievement unlocked. Escaped, okay. Escaped what? The dungeon? Oh, don't turn the light out. Girl, what's wrong with you? Throw my torch on the ground and get rid of it. Her scar's gone. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. Peace out, old man. It's the darkness. It's speaking through no, you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? She said so. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. But what if I do? Come, child, take my hand. Come. Stand one. I am leaving. You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! What curse is it that I have? Other than like the weird thing growing up my arm. Is that the curse? Is that why everybody's dead is because of me? You did it, but there's more. There's another trial. There's more trials. There's more. Your time is at last. There's still more. Well, I know there's it's more. Chill out. So I had to face my father in that round. But at least I didn't have to fight anything. So thank you, game. Wait, how the heck do I get over there? How do I get there? Guess I gotta go back around the way I came. Smart. Super smart. I am. Did I listen to this one? Is this the one from before? Is it just still here? Did I listen to this one? Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress. Ah. And in disguise, she lies with her own brother. Oh, nope, that she sounds like something from the Bible. Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. That has got to be the weirdest way. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. It's like, what was the logic in that? Uh, he murdered all my other sons, so I'll turn myself into some random animal and then sleep with my own brother, so then that the new kid I have, a son, will be the strong one that he I wants. Saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice it was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like hundreds died the sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older and where dying mothers gave birth 
The marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. It's not us. What is this place? so this next trial will be coming up next i'm going to go ahead and pause it right here since i saw the save button my scar's back on my face so that's light lovely just brilliant so i haven't really talked all that much because there's a lot of cutscenes and a lot of story going on and i kind of rather not interrupt it like i've done it a little bit but not all the time so i just wanted to make sure you guys got that going for you so we will get back into this next time and i'll check you guys later bye Oh, 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 oh,